Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. I have Pete, my husband, with me today. And food. And food. We're doing some picnic food. This is a s'mores pudding cup. It's got some roasted marshmallows and some cream, chocolate pudding and graham crackers. It's delicious. So uh, we're here at Riverside Park in Manhattan. This is one of my favorite parks to go to. We come here a lot. Um, and so each of the next couple of weeks, we're gonna do a picnic recipe. Plus, I'm gonna show you a picnic spot in New York. We're getting out of the kitchen because it's nice and warm in summer. Actually, it's not really warm today. It's warm enough. All right, let me show you how we did it. To get the chocolate pudding started, place two egg yolks in a bowl and whisk this for about 60 seconds or so until it thickens up and aerates a little bit. Then add in two tablespoons of cornstarch and whisk that in. And it'll start to get too thick and kind of hard to whisk, so measure out two cups of whole milk in a measuring cup and add a few splashes of the milk, about a quarter of a cup, just to help it come together easier. And you don't have to measure exactly a quarter cup here because all the milk will end up in our pudding anyway. And once that's combined, you can set that bowl aside. In a saucepan set on the stove, add half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, and all the remaining milk. Whisk that to combine, and it'll look clumpy at first, but don't worry, it will all smooth out. Just turn the heat to medium high and whisk and cook this until the cocoa milk is hot and at a scalding temperature, which is about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, you can see little bubbles will start to form on the side of the pan just before it comes to a boil. Take the cocoa milk off the stove and whisk a few splashes at a time into the egg mixture. We're just tempering here, making sure that we raise the temperature very slowly so we don't scramble the eggs. Just whisk all of the hot milk in and then you can pour everything back into the saucepan. Cook this over medium high heat and bring it to a full boil. You'll see once the pudding comes to a full boil, it'll thicken up really nicely and very quickly. It doesn't need any more than about a minute or so to full boil. Remove the chocolate pudding from the stove and pour it into a bowl, and then press plastic wrap directly onto the top of the pudding so a skin doesn't form while it's cooling in the fridge. While the pudding chills, place a sleeve of graham crackers into a food processor and give them a whirl until you get really fine crumbs. Pour the crumbs into a bowl and add in three tablespoons of melted butter. Mix this together until the butter is well distributed and the crumbs are moistened. Take a scoop of your graham cracker crumbs and place it into a little jar. You can press the crumbs down with your fingertips to get a compact layer. And I like a thick layer of crumbs, so I did a lot here, but you can do as much or as little as you want. Once your chocolate pudding has chilled for an hour or so, remove the plastic, and you'll see if you stir the pudding, it should have a thick, smooth consistency. Take spoonfuls of your chocolate pudding and layer that on top of the graham cracker crumb layer. You can smooth that out with a spoon to flatten. Next, we're gonna make some whipped cream. Just place a half cup of heavy whipping cream into a bowl and add a tablespoon of confectioner sugar. And whisk this together until it's thick. Place spoonfuls of the whipped cream onto the chocolate pudding layer. Then you can smooth that out with a spoon. And then as a final touch, you can roast a couple of marshmallows over the stove. Just brown them, it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds each. Then place the marshmallows on top of the whipped cream layer. Put the lid on your jars, whether they have screw tops or clip tops, uh, and then it's ready to take on your picnic and enjoy. All right, ready? I'm ready. Mm. Oh, ma'am. The pudding is so silky and chocolatey and light. And the whipped cream's really nice in there too. And that little bit of smokiness from the marshmallow and the graham cracker crumbs. I mean, I love graham crackers. They're so good. Crumbs definitely make this. What do you like? The crumbs. The crumbs. Stick these in your bag. You can enjoy some lovely s'mores inspired dessert outside. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this recipe. I hope you try it for one of your own picnics. Then next Thursday, we're doing another picnic episode. So make sure you come back for that. I will. <laughs> He'll be here. <laughs> Bye.